Hello, my name is Daniel Yonantuono. I'm a tutor here on Wiseant in uh, piano, composition, music theory, orchestration, arranging, and music production. I'm a graduate of the Eastman School of Music, and I've been doing freelance composing, film scoring, and music production here in Los Angeles for about 18 years, and I've been teaching for well over 20 years as well. Uh, the question I'd like to answer uh, today is what is this cadence? And we have Roman numeral four going to Roman numeral one and also lowercase Roman numeral four to uh, lowercase Roman numeral one as well. Uh, so first I should answer what is a cadence? And I'll start by saying that a cadence is sort of a, a musical structure that, or a, a musical structure that creates a sense of resolution. I can spell that properly. Uh, a musical structure that creates a sense of resolution. We can have uh, melodic cadences and harmonic cadences. Uh, the particular cadence in question is a harmonic cadence. And we'll often find uh, harmonic cadences at the end of musical phrases. And the end of a musical phrase is sort of like the end of a sentence or the end of a clause when we're speaking or reading. Uh, and again, it, sent, it creates a sense of resolution that this musical idea is done. Um, the particular cadence in question is known as a plagal, uh, plagal cadence. Let me go ahead and write that out. So when you see four to one, it's called a plagal cadence. Um, and what sets this particular cadence apart from the variety of other cadences that you might hear in common practice music is that this particular cadence gives that sense of re resolution and finality in a very gentle way. So if I were to demonstrate here, I'm going to play four to one in a major key. This is going to be in C major. So the chords I will play will be F, F major, resolving to C major. So here's my, my plagal cadence in the key of C. I'll do that one more time. And if you're listening carefully, you might hear that that, that type of cadence or that type of harmonic move sounds a lot like amen. And that's because this particular cadence is often used in religious music, such as choir music, uh, when the choir sings the word amen. And it, again, gives that sense of finality, but in a less dramatic way, as opposed to, let's say, a 5-1 cadence. Let me type that in a 5-1 cadence, uh, which in some cases you might call a perfect cadence. You have also that sense of resolution, but it's a bit more dramatic and a bit more final in my personal opinion. So that would be a 5-1 cadence. So I believe that's pretty good summary of a plagal cadence, the 4-1 to one cadence that we hear often in in common practice music, and people have been using it for hundreds of years. You hear it in classical pieces as well as pop and even film score occasionally, but most often you'll hear it in religious pieces, especially choir pieces, uh, at the end of a composition when the choir sings Amen. So I hope that answers your question, and thanks for watching and listening.